Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? Okay, looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Well, you could start by burning off this crud. That's better. You look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift. Hang on, coming around! Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Well, that got the 
gate open, but you kind of need to be up here to use it, you dig? He ascends! Of course, now the gate's closed. Turn it again. Once more. Aye, aye. Again. Look. There you go. Game zone. Come on through and get those cables. Some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See, dwarven magic's all about the intangibles, the relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. <clears throat> Hang on! I smell trouble. Hey, Bartlett! I don't know what you're waiting for! I'm right here! creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never had it. Two on two. But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> why, bro, I've never seen you so... reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. Oh, fuck, Knuckle. Do I gotta fix everything in this dang city my own self? I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh. This place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to every piece, but the ones she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll figure that thing.
he's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. <laughs> Goaty, you sure didn't give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. Gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, nope? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. No, oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. Let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of one. I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good. Crank it. She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Victor, almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless you for us. Are you, uh... Hello? 
Hello? The fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! The fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters, not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. Now you know I can't let you take our new gal home without giving her a twirl. Look! We got volunteers! See that weak spot? Jam one in right there. <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. 
We gotta finish putting the spirit through her paces. Come on. Might have to get creative up ahead. <sighs> Nightmare to the left. Stop pumpering around and smash that thing before <laughs> more things come out. Jump! Ha! Any more guesses, belt boy? Oh, all right. Gets bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, <laughs> the larger their scope in your memory. No, that's bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. <laughs> Today's all right. can teach. See? 
sturdy enough to climb on, swing on, whatever's you need. It's all about the proper angle. I'm telling you, you're too far to the side. Whoa, you sure you ain't done this before? you or anything you did not right uh you can bring that back to Radit Oscar whenever you're ready Ah, that's blocked. to ask of the both of you and we can call it square what happened down there in the forge with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed oh very well these ugly birds maybe those grim will take him down <laughs> a shorter path. Aye. Shall we let Brock improve your gear before we go?
Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight it is. <laughs> 